Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BZ Gurus, and this is the introduction video to Secure Zones. So, what is a secure zone and what can I use it for? Well, when you need to place private or premium content onto your site so that the general public cannot access it, you can set up a secure zone. Secure zones are password protected areas on your website that require subscribers to enter in their username and password to see a page, set of pages, view details of a specific module item, and so on. So for example, you could create a private client area in a secure zone that only specific clients can access to see elements of a project. Once a page or item is made secure, it is not searchable through search engines. If someone is sent a direct link to a secure item, they will be prompted to log in if they would like to view it. So what is a secure zone capable of doing in BC? Well, one, it can allow customers to view and update CRM details. The customer can log into a secure zone and edit and update their account information without any help from the admin. They are able to edit both system fields and custom CRM fields that you create in the back end. You can also create and manage customer cases through a secure zone. The customer can log into a secure zone on a site and then look up the status of each of the cases they have submitted. A case is just another name for a web form submission. The data includes the original web form data that was submitted, as well as any correspondence from the admin users that will log into the back end and send emails to that customer. This built-in feature would allow you to create a customer support area that enables customers to create support cases. You can also create and manage customer orders and quotes. BC allows you to output order and quote history details on a site to a customer when they are logged into a secure zone customer favorites. You can add the favorites feature to your site to encourage personalization. A favorites list allows site visitors to add commonly viewed items to their favorites list so that the items can be easily retrieved and forwarded later. Visitors can add many different content types to their favorites list including products, FAQs, web app items, news items, events, and more. Once an item has been added to their favorites list, visitors can review their list of items by logging in. They can also remove existing items from their list while logged in. Sell Secure Zone Membership You are able to sell Secure Zone access at a membership level. You have the option of charging a one-time payment or setting up recurring payment with your subscribers. You can also set up a Secure Zone that acts as a trial membership, allowing customers to explore the paid Secure Zone for X amount of days before their access is expired. This may entice them to purchase a paid membership in the future. Logging in with Facebook. You can integrate your site with Facebook, which allows users to register and log into a secure zone with their Facebook credentials, saving your customers from remembering yet another username and password. And there is the very powerful module is logged in. I wanted to call this out because it allows you to see if a user is logged in or not. If the module value equals zero, that means a user is not logged in. If it's equal to one, that means a user is logged in. This information allows you to show or hide specific content with JavaScript on your site. So for example, you may want to show different navigation or advertisements depending on if someone is logged in or not. So for the table of contents, let's talk about what we will be covering in this video series. There will be a different video for each of the items listed below. Starting with setup basics. We'll start with a basic setup of a secure zone, covering how to create a secure zone how to secure content, subscribe users, and add a trusted IP address. Registration form. This next video will cover how to turn a web form into a registration form for a specific secure zone. We'll review what is needed to set up free registration and how to set up registration if you want to sell a membership to a secure zone. Login forms and forgot password. In this video, we will review how to add a login form to the site where to edit system messages and emails that go along with logging in and a customer retrieving their password. We'll end this video on how to integrate a Facebook login with your site so users can reuse their Facebook login credentials to access a secure zone. User pages. This video we will walk you through different user pages you can include within a secure section of your site. Some of these pages include a user profile or account page which enables your subscribers to update customer details like contact information, login credentials, and any CRM forms that you have created on your site. We'll also create a page that outputs customer case history, order history, and quote history. Favorites. In this video, we will review how to set up favorites for your site and walk through what types of items a person can favorite. 
We will also review where to edit the system messages that are associated with favorites and how to customize the favorites layout template. In this last video, we will dive into subscriber management, which will entail going through how to view SecureZone subscribers, how to manage SecureZone subscriptions, cancel recurring subscription, and how to import multiple users into a, a specific Secure Zone. I will be providing a Secure Zone specific checklist uh, that reviews basic setup instructions, code references and samples, and any tips and recommendations I have for Secure Zones. In this checklist document, you will also find links to resources I will recommend that you check out as well.